Hello again, everybody. Mike Claiborne here with Adam Wainwright. We're going to talk a little bit about the grip. Well, Wayno, first of all, let me introduce you to a baseball. Thank you. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about your career and the pitches that you use. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, it, it right, go ahead. We don't have three minutes. Let's talk a little bit about um, your grips. First of all, everybody's seen your curveball, and some guys have seen it up close and didn't like it because they couldn't hit it. Show me your grip for your curveball. Standard traditional grip. Um, my middle finger is going to be along this seam here. We call this a horseshoe. And on the downside of the horseshoe there, this is one of the keys where I'm putting so much pressure on the outside of that long finger along that seam that it'll actually kind of roll over the end and, and the, the tip of my finger will just be pulling off of that seam as hard as I can possibly pull. The other key to this pitch um, is my thumb. And I've got my thumb on this seam and you don't want to have your thumb flat because then you see I just don't have much room there if I have my thumb kind of rolled on its side then I have see how much more spin I can get out of that as opposed to that it's 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 kind of wild that's nobody ever thinks about a thumb and a curveball but those two those two pushing points on this seam and on this seam allow me to get a good a good uh, kind of lever to pull on there and then this finger right here all it's doing is it's pushing into this finger so if you see me throw my curveball my finger ends up coming off because it's pushing into my long finger and it'll end up coming off as I as I start to roll that finger it, it, it has to come off let's talk about the changeup a developing pitch <laughs> that I think will be good this year <laughs> so traditionally I've always thrown it I throw my two seamer kind of like this sometimes and so I felt like I needed to have the same spin so I've always tried to throw I don't throw many changeups clothes but yeah. but it's a developing pitch like I said it's going to be good for me this year but so uh, I just don't get it a good enough spin or good enough movement out of it I don't feel like so what I did was I kind of twisted the ball just a little bit and we call this a one seamer because when you throw a four seamer across the seams you see one two three four every time you pull on it you have four seams rotating right we call it two seamer because we throw it like this and then you just have the one two when it when it, the ball turns over those are the only two seams you see but on a one seamer if you hold it like this or like this or like this or like this there's millions of different ways as you throw it what you'll see when you catch it or when you're trying to hit it is just this one stripe this these two stripes these two seams will end up looking just like one stripe like this on the ball and that's the only seam you'll see and you get more consistent and more maybe a little bit more movement like that all the best sinker ballers in the game over the years have thrown one seamer Derek Lowe throws one seamer um, Brandon Webb throws one seamer uh, Aaron Cook through the one seamer, Leak, Lance Land, they all throw the one seamer and they throw it uh, right here. So you still get you still get the seams on each of your fingers so you can pull on something. But as you throw it, you get that good one seam action. We hear the word, the term cutter used so much. Show us what that does for you. Oh, what I was going to say about it, that, you asked me about changeover. So now I just throw that same way. Mm -hmm. off the one seam with my change up with my change up grip so it's just a circle change and I just feel those those seams on my fingers and I just pull right there well your circle change is a little lower than a lot of guys I see yeah because I have long fingers uh -huh. so I have to kind of adjust like I can't put it up here because like you know then I I don't maybe I could maybe I should try that let's try it. we'll go out <laughs> well, I catch it it is a little bit lower you. though Greg Maddox used to throw his with his finger kind of up on the side like that um, and I, I worked with that a little bit, but I really feel good when I feel that seam right there I used to throw my curve my change up kind of like this way way back in the day and that just feels good oh, Excuse me um, But that's the way I throw my change up. Your bread and butter pitch for Adam Wayne right at this stage in your career um, I mean my curveball is Still, the, yeah, the my curveball. When I'm healthy, my curveball is still pretty darn good, you know. But, but I, ha I do have a cutter that's just a variation of my fastball, where I just kind of twist the ball a little bit and I tuck my thumb. If my thumb is normally right underneath my index finger, I just tuck it under a little bit more, so it's like kind of underneath my. So it's long not finger. on the side. It's not directly under. It's, it's not on the side, but as I um, throw it, because my thumb's there it'll come off kind of like that. When I throw it correctly, it's real short and just a variation of my fastball and it's almost as hard as my fastball. When, I, when I'm when i throwing it a little bit 
uh, incorrectly, it gets a little too big, almost like a slider. And I start kind of trying to help it with my wrist and it ends up, I, I don't like that as much. You were throwing a pitch, if I may, where you had, you were spiking it like this at one point. There was one pitch I used to see you throw where your middle finger was on top of it and you were trying to throw it that way. Mm -mm. No, what, what, what you probably saw was, was that. Okay, you're right, you're right. Was probably, probably my curveball where I'm, if I'm spinning it real hard, and that's when the finger, that's when that finger over. will start coming okay. over and I'll just torque that sucker like that and that, that finger will come up. No, I've never thrown anything like that. But At least, you only throw it once if you do <laughs> right, it. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, He's welcome. Adam Wainwright, they're the grips.